Hi there. I'm Mrs. Brockling and I am from the Shobina United Methodist Church to read to Mrs. Gill's class today. And the name of this book is After Fall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I don't know if you can see this or not, I hope so. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can't happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying until I got it just right. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things that I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it, but I was terrified. I didn't look up, I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, You'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Thanks for letting me read to your class. Have a good day.